Hello. Um, I know I'm starting a little bit early today, but I was just kind of sitting, thinking a little bit about this, this live today and thinking about the one that uh, I did on Friday. And um, it was just making me think that, you know, a lot of the comments I felt like weren't necessarily about the topic. And that's totally fine. The thing that came up for me though was thinking that maybe we should do one that's just me, you know, where you guys can ask me questions and I'll answer them. So um, I just want you to all to feel seen and not feel like that's the one opportunity you have to be like, hi. So we can just take the next couple of minutes um, just to try this out. If you wanna say hi, I can say hi back and we can try and get that out of our systems a little bit so that we can focus on this topic that we have today, um, which is paid sick leave. Um, it's a pretty big issue with a lot of different pieces to it. Um, and so it's, it's also okay if you don't wanna stay for that, if you don't feel like that applies to you or isn't of interest to you, it's all good. I'm just trying to touch upon a lot of different things that are happening at this current climate and um, and use this time that we have to better educate ourselves. So um, I'm looking at the comments now. We have a couple more minutes. Someone just said, you are hair. I love it. <laughs> um, thank you. <laughs> um, I would say like if, if the if the concept of doing like a Q and A type of thing um, with me, it would just be me doing this. <laughs> it seems like it would be a value. Oh yay, May the Fourth! That's so sweet. Um, you can you can say that, or you can also say no. I don't I don't care. I don't. I've got better things to do with my time. I'm learning a new hobby. I'm like helping people. Like I don't really need to hear what your favorite color is. <laughs> <laughs> but just know that I, I I am as I'm saying I'm I'm watching the comments I'm seeing it I and I just want to make sure that when we are saying okay and now it's time to talk about this topic that we can focus on it and, and you feel heard in in other ways more videos oh am I gonna cover more songs yeah I think that was fun and that's just what I do anyway so it seems like it was um, nice for you guys too. So <laughs> I'll do that. It's nice to balance it out. So it's not like anytime I go live, we're just having, um, deep conversations. I mean, I am a deep person and I don't really like to mess around with small talk. I'm not really a small talk person. Um, but it's okay to have fun and <laughs> I would like to have fun with you guys. So I got a lot of great, um, recommendations last time uh, when I posted on my stories of asking. So I got a pretty long list of songs to learn and um, and we can play together. That was the other thing. Um, oh yeah, I'm seeing your comments. No, don't worry about it. It's like people are apologizing for the comments yesterday. All good. Yeah. Like it's all loving. I don't, I don't feel anything about it. It's just, um, I like taking the time to think about these things because it makes you go like, oh, what is this saying to me? And I guess it's saying that maybe we need more time to connect without something extra. So, um, hello. I see someone that says fan from India. Hello, India. Um, thank you. I don't know what time it is there, but thank you for being here. So, um, okay, it's 5.01. Oh, how much am I turnip selling on my island? I actually haven't checked yet today. I had um, <laughs> real work to do today, so I haven't checked my turnip prices. I actually forgot to buy turnips this Sunday, so I had a tough time last week with the stock market, so I'm kind of, I'm taking a, I was taking a break, I guess, this week subconsciously, because I just, I couldn't deal with the stress, y'all, it's too much. Um, okay, so it's 5.01, so shifting now into the, the topic that um, we were talking about, we've been talking about, talking about, uh, paid sick leave. Um, super important and also really important to talk about right now. You know, I, I don't, I think some of this stuff 
even if it's not happening to you, it's just so good to know because I bet you there's somebody that's going through this right now, struggling with it. So it's a great time to get your questions together if you have any. I'm not super um, well educated on this topic, so I'm gonna be asking questions from a pretty basic standpoint. Uh, Tina is incredible. I've known her for many years now through Time's Up, and um, I'm gonna see if she's here. Oh, here we go. Oh. How do I, oh, I will be, I will be searching. Oh, I just saw Reese is doing a live video right now. That's cool. Seeing if Tina will come in. Waiting for time's up now. It's always exciting, right? Every time this is happening. <gasps> Hi! Hi! <laughs> it worked. So Tina, I think to start, if you could just give a little, intro you know of like who you are what you're about what your background is why you want to talk about this issue and why why i'm talking to you about this issue yeah well first of all thank you brie of course. you know so, it's so like such a treat, treat to see you <laughs> <laughs> it's such a, it, and, and as i told you you know it's a special treat for us because one of our you know quarantine activities was to run through we are marvel family we ran through all the marvel movies and you know, real <laughs> You know, our favorite is, of course, Captain Marvel. Um, so oh, this is a treat for, for me. Um, but I'm especially really grateful to you for talking about paid sick leave. So I am the president and CEO of Time's Up, which you have okay. been with since the very beginning. You know, we were started back in 2017 in the wake of the Harvey Weinstein articles. But really, not we're fighting not just for protections against sexual harassment. We started the Time's Up Legal Defense Fund to do that. But now really working for safe, fair, dignified work for everyone. Because that's what we need if we want to keep sexual harassment from happening in the workplace. We need more diversity in the workplace. We need more equity in the workplace. And for women to succeed in the workplace, they need things like paid sick leave, because that's mm -hmm. what keeps women from succeeding. Obviously a really complicated issue, and it's unfortunately affecting the people that have essential jobs right now, the people that are kind of keeping things going. So um, the one thing that Tina's talking about that we can do right now is call our congressmen and women right now and tell them that this is important you know that that we're noticing now with this virus is sort of brought to the surface something that was always there and that we need support we need support for our medical staff we need support for um those that are working in the restaurant industry and packing facilities like we want that we want people to feel safe where they work and supported where they work and that if they get sick it doesn't mean that they're gonna lose that they're gonna lose their home or lose their job um that you know it happens to all of us we all get sick and it, it shouldn't mean it, it just shouldn't mean that like it's that much of a devastation because we're getting sick especially at a time when it's like we're all working together it feels like to to move us through this period of time and it will keep us safer too, right? If you know that your package delivery company is providing paid sick leave, right? Then the packages that come to your house are going to be safer because right. the person who's delivering it isn't going to be sick because if they were sick, they'd be able to take a day off and get their pay, right? So really, you know, in addition to voting and using your voice in the ballot box, using your voice, you know, with, with, with your pocketbook is like another, another really powerful way to make yourself heard. Amazing. Thank you so much, Tina. I appreciate it so much. Oh, it, yeah. It's so, Thank this you, is Bray. great. Yeah, it's great. And I've learned so much. I hope that everyone that, that tuned in learned, um, as much as I did. And, um, yeah, let's just keep doing this. Let's keep rising up. Absolutely. Thank, thank you. you. And thank you to Emma for helping you with this. <laughs> She's it's off camera. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm with you and your TV. <laughs> right. <laughs> we'll talk soon. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Yay. Thank you for joining and um, being here for the conversation. I hope that, um, hope that you learned something. And I also meant to, at the beginning of this video, recap and say just thank you so much for those who tuned in on Friday with the conversation with Shirley. Um, she just got so many donations, whether it was monetary or um, 
or on our Amazon wish list. And I added to it as well and kind of filled in the gaps where you guys didn't buy stuff. And together we were able to help a lot of people. And so just know that through your goodwill and through your willingness to listen and open your eyes and participate, like just know that you're helping people. And that's a really good feeling. I know that these times are uneasy and um, just to know that we're building a community and looking out for one another, um, it makes me feel good. So thank you so much. I love all your sweet little beautiful souls. Thank you for participating today. Um, very open to other ideas. If there is certain topics or um, issues right now that you'd love to hear more about, let's learn together. Stay safe. Much love. Talk soon.